Okay, how many spatulas do we even have? No, we don't have enough. Okay. Because I would have liked to unlock the next ability, but I digress. So, I think we're going to go to Sand Mountain next, because... I rather like that level, and... Uh... Oh, my apologies. Uh, we cannot go to Sand Mountain yet. That is disappointing. Whatever. We're going to Mermelair. Rock bottom is a little complex. I don't want to do rock bottom yet. Ah, uh, checkers! The king of non-contact sports! Break that one. This world gets a special entrance cutscene. So, welcome to the Mermelair. <laughs> Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. <laughs> you shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my... All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of- It is? It is? Yes, a bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you- Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday, and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. <laughs> Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. Actually, it is Thursday I right now. That's hilarious. responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not disappointed. To the doctor's office! Away! So first off, we have this, um, it's not just any sponge. It's this disco sponge. tile mechanic, which is also in the Spongebob movie. We just met the Spongenator. Oh. Oh, look at what I found. <laughs> there we go. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, good. Fuck that, cool. Alright, that's a nifty, nifty little secret. So yeah, definitely one of my favorite places, though. Just love, uh... I love the general atmosphere of this cave. And all the all the contraptions. It's just a it, it just makes a nice um a make believe secret base. So here's our new enemy, Arf, who is mostly catered to our sponge bowl mechanic. Or bowl bowl. That yeah, sponge bowl's easier to say. I mean, that said, you can uh, just approach him normally. Every time you attack him, he'll jump to a new um, station. Love opening presents. Uh, 
But yeah, I, I feel like the Spongebob games in general encapsulate my childhood adventures the best. Because when I, when I was a kid, and me and my friends would go, just go on these, um, make-believe adventures. And it's like, and you know, if I had, if I went on adventures in video game worlds, Spongebob would definitely be my, my top pick, I feel like. Like, the Spongebob level's just so fun to just play around in and just be a kid, you know? It's hard to explain. You know, in the original game, I could never figure this out. Like, that is, this is a tricky jump to make. How are you meant to make this jump? Oh my god, now I gotta sit through these dumb load screens. Uh, I th Cause I think what I actually did, though... Oh no, you have to keep hitting this! Oh! Oh, okay, I think I'm figuring it, it out now. Oh, yeah, that... I don't think I ever figured this out. In the original. I think what I did was that, um, I just jumped down, jumped down that shaft and collected it. But I never thought about spinning this around further, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's just a sock, but still a really good, really good hiding spot. Um, unfortunately you cannot see- okay, good, it just comes back. You don't have to go all the way around the frickin' platform. It would be bad. Like, substituting this game for my own real-life adventures, I would pretend like this is the secret- the secret lair underneath my friend's house. Oh, that- oh, that's the Batmobile. Oh, okay, that's- that's cool. You know- oh, you know what? You should be able to stand on it when it's invisible. That- that kind of ruins- ruins the joke, honestly. I feel like a new sponge. So Act One is very short. One thing I am dreading in this level, though, is that this level has the hardest spatula in the game. Not, not counting the ones where you have to farm shinies for Mr. Krabs. Because that's the assuming the cheat code's not in this. Secret Fortress of the Wrinkly Superheroes, Mermaid Man, and Barnacle Boy. So yeah, the first act didn't have the narrator intro, but the second one does Squidward, because it's bigger. I'm happy to see you! And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow! Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening! Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelaire computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. Oh, look at this place. I mean, please. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelaire is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda, and they... Never mind! Yeah, <laughs> that would be actually some interesting lore. Alright, uh, see this. Um, this seesaw serves no real purpose, and I spent a while trying to figure out how to get Patrick over here, because... I mean, you see, you need, this, you need the sponge bowl to to, like, get from here to here, which means he can't come back this way as Patrick. I think what I did, though... Oh, yes, he even has watermelon here. Um, what I did was, like, I got the checkpoint here, switched to Patrick, and died to warp over here. But all this does is just bounce you back over to the main area, so there's no real reason to use that. But I like this line. This is one of my favorite lines here. Well, that depends. Do you want the booby trap or the non booby trapped exit? Non booby trapped, please. Then go that way. <laughs> or maybe it was that way. Oh, well, yeah, he's just gonna be stuck in here for a while. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, this one turns fast. <laughs> that, was, that was fun. 
Then again, you get a checkpoint right here, so I'm not sure how I got over there as Patrick. Unless I got got to there as Patrick using the warp box, but I think you need a wall jump to get to the other warp box. I don't I don't remember too well. But uh, since we're talking about Patrick, let's switch to him. Immediately sees a uh, secret cave over there that they that we need to keep spinning this platform to get to. So let's just do that real quick. It's just a 50, but I'm a completionist. And we need to get all the points we can anyway. Oh, I'm sorry, do I have to hit this side? Okay, There's fair enough. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. I really like how the, uh, the, the sponge bowl looks there. I love the textures. I've got a job for somebody who can throw things! Leave it to us. I'm great at throwing things. All you have to do is pick up a throw fruit and throw it into each of those funnel machines. Throw, throw the throw fruit? No, throw the throw fruit. <laughs> throw the tofu. You might want to be quick about it. I tend to explode. I mean, they tend to explode. <laughs> Um, I think that's something completely unrelated. I could be wrong, though. So yeah, this is an interesting challenge. Yeah, each of these, it's just a bunch of mini, mini challenges involving the throw fruits. It's really creative. Do I just have to stay on the left? Nope. You will fire at where I am. Oh, then you have to freaking get around this thing. Sure gotta carry a lot of stuff around. Ouch! Is this thing just random? Oh, I gotta wait for it to despawn now, goody. Now these platforms, they tilt. But what we can do is cheat, yeah. Friggin' cheat. Remember this, uh... Remember the, the throw fruit challenge from the movie? When you're the thug tug. That was a good challenge. Really tricky. Although, if you come back there with the, uh, the the guitar, you can totally cheat it, but that's no fun, is it? <laughs> These tile puzzles also remind me of those rooms in the Exonaut Fortress in Paper Mario. Oh, wow, I wasn't even targeting it that time. It just hit, just hit it on its own by accident. I love it. Okay, so... No, I just had to talk to you, don't I? You did it! Yeah. Now I can get some sleep. I can't, kind of expect to just auto-talk. <laughs> Alright, so fun, fun little challenge there. But as you can see, we can do something else with Patar. <laughs> hey, I know you! You're that guy! <laughs> hmm. You're gonna need a lot more power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. Do you think you can handle this? I can see Squidward's house from up here. And he's not wearing any pants. I mean, you can see Squidward I'm from here. <laughs> I think there's no way you can see Squidward's yeah, house from here, though. There are eight cylinders over there. Unless, like, they were they were digging the under his house and it just sank underground. <laughs> Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? I was watching Squidward. <laughs> and I was talking about Squidward. Funny. Cylinders. 
But yeah, I remember having trouble with this puzzle. I actually want to know if we can see Squidward's house from here. <laughs> I am generally curious. Curious, I mean. Uh, it was probably just a joke, though. But, uh... I'll suck on this puzzle for a while. It's actually quite simple. You need to hit all these switches... ...in a row, going in a circle. And that's the trick to beating it. <laughs> so yeah, the main, uh, the sub-collectible for this level are these switches. Oh, and don't forget to talk to Barkle Boy to complete the mission. Now there's enough power. What do you need all that power for? Why, my foot bath, of course. Of course. Here, have a golden spatula. I mean, for a couple of retirees, they're leaving, uh, they're living the good life in this secret lair down here. Although, it would be safe to put some railing, you know? Slide section! This one goes boom! Oh, okay, and you have to do that right to get the freaking, uh, sock up there. Of course you do. At least I got rid of those bombs. Oh, except for that one. Oh, and that one. Ooh, another one. So yeah, pretty easy. But I think that's the end of Patrick for this level. We, I think he just has these two missions and that's it. What? <laughs> Whoa, hello Mr. Chuck! He's trying to shoot me. So, oh, so there's yeah, this is definitely something they didn't have in the original. Like, these switches have different, uh, symbols indicating, uh, what's allowed to hit them. In this case, only the, the sponge bowl is allowed to hit them. something up here first before I can open that wall jump. Well, let's wall jump activate, of course. There's nothing like the smell of so specific. In the Smells like victory. The Another slide section! Woo! I love opening presents. Well, I hope there weren't any other collectibles up there. Well, let's just go back up anyway, why not?
I wasn't that far anyway. Now, see that section over there, though? We won't be going there until we hit all the switches. I feel like a new spot. Alright, that, that would have been just another way to get that sock, so no big deal. security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the Marmalaya. The first one is here. No, the first one was up where Barnacle Boy was. Press the button! Got it! When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. <laughs> wow, you sound so devious. Return here! Got it! Are you listening to me? Listening! Got it! Please, so I think this is the trick to getting Patrick over there. Like you have to hit this, go down, get, hit that checkpoint, go down to switch to him, die, reappear up here, and then you'll warp over there. But then you can see Saul back over here, which is it's weird that they put that see Saul there at all, honestly. If they, if they intend you to actually do that trick, you know? And besides, you don't even need to get out of there, you can just warp out there with the box. It's a, it's a weird thing, it's a weird, um, anti-oversight kind of thing. It's, it's interesting. On Act 3. I see you've made your way down to the deepest recesses of the Mermelair. It is weird that all these other characters are just down here, though. Oh, you took the elevator. Uh, how do I get to the top of this room? Platforming. You're right. I bet those tunnels will take me up to the top. Good thinking, Gary. Why didn't those one? Why didn't that one disappear? I wasn't even moving slow. Weird. So this act is pretty straightforward, generally. You'll be impressed by your fine acting. Fresh like a spring breeze. I'm not waiting for those things, you crazy. I feel like a new sponge. You take some damages. There 
Straightforward linear road here. But now we can do this extra challenge by paying some coinage. gonna die real quick. But his die is Odin's proud samurai, come on. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Even if that didn't work though, we do have a checkpoint now makes because of that challenge. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. Oh yeah, I was hoping hoping that attack would something like something would be hit down there and, and there was. God fuck okay, good thank you good thank you, ledge grab. Thank you, ledge grab. God no god, this is so janky. God, this is so janky. Oh my god. I just love how that, that attack's always landing. All for a slot, though. Da -da -da -da. No, I missed the collectible. Dang. I'll get it later. So you go to Act 4. This is a very small act, but it has the trickiest spatula in the game. Sweaty, just looking at it. All you have to do is get that great big ball. Oh, I see the 50 up there. Into that there cup. How do I get the ball rolling, Mr. Krabs? You start the process by bubble bowling up this ramp to hit that button. Good luck, SpongeBob. My wallet's counting on you. I think this is like a Ruth Goldberg machine. I don't, I don't remember the, the proper term, but. This is a very tricky challenge here, and I don't remember the exact process completely. First we get the ball rolling, then we have to turn this to connect the track. Can we do anything with this? 
Okay, yeah, we gotta get that cup down. Alright, thanks for prom prompting me. Like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like. Yep, yep, yep. I was wondering when would be the best time to do that, and of course, I was too freaking early. Of course, I would be too freaking early to hit that. Ugh, oh, I hate it. I, I like the new, the new prompts that were added into this version. Oh, it's so frustrating if you do things too early, it falls. <laughs> yeah, I can just leave the act right now if you want, but... We're doing this, obviously. If no other spatula, then we're doing this. Yeah, maybe when it passes those, um, loops there, that indicates the best... Yeah, those probably indicate the best time to hit these contraptions. That's probably the trick. Okay, that worked out in the end. On the bright side, we keep farming that, uh... G love. Why didn't that hit? God, I hope that wasn't too early. That's gonna make that hammer rise. Oh, now this part. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, I cannot believe uh, it just bobbed out of that hole. That was perfect. Now you gotta freaking hit- Okay, you gotta hit that before it goes down all the way. Alright, that- yeah, that took way more tries the, the the first time I played this game, but yeah, that was all right. That was good. I really lucked out in that last one, though. Well done, SpongeBob. Now, how's about giving old Mr. Krabs that a promotion? Sure, you'll get a whole extra ten seconds added to your break time. Woo! Twenty seconds. <laughs> Do I dare? Uh, no, I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs. As enticing as that sounds, I can't <laughs> give this to you. I need every golden spatula I can get. I understand, boy. I'll just dock 30 seconds from your break time instead. Wow! That means I have a negative 20 second break. Uh, Thanks, Mr. Krabs. That sucks. He is the worst boss. Of course, SpongeBob. <laughs> The thing is, I don't know where these enemies are sp Okay, there it is! I, I always wondered where the enemy spawner was. He's right up there, which means the only way to destroy it is with the, the torpedo attack. But yeah, if you didn't notice, there's a hidden sock over here. Very sneaky. Sneaky bugger. And, and that's how we get over here to get this 50. Pretty cool. But that should be all in this room. Very, very small act. But it's cool how much how much you condense into a small space and still make it great.
Uh, how? I have regained okay. control of the security system. Yeah, it's above here. Here's the reward. I promised you. You have pressed <laughs> all the security buttons. Now press the master shutdown button. Hitting that button, simply put, lowers this bridge over here. Leading us straight to the boss room. Yep, very good, uh, boss setup there. Oh. Very lengthy one, too. Well, the security system has been shut down, and we got a good checkup. Hooray for justice in all its multi-splendor glory! Yeah, well, Justice Boy, you also cut the power to the Mermelayer's BCS. That's Villain Containment System. Is that bad? Does Mermaid Man smell like sour milk? Yes! Yes, I do! Oh, no. It looks like one of the villains is broken free. What's that? An evil doer on the loose? Who is it? Man Ray? The atomic oh, flounder? Oh. The dirty bubble? No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy. Prawn. Prawn! Did someone call? Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes. But now I see it's just a couple of pieces of now driftwood. <sighs> Prawn! I'll never forgive you, you madman! What did Prawn do? The worst thing you can imagine. He put all of Mermaid Man's white clothes in the washer with a red sock. Uh. Everything I own turned pink. Pink! Oh, horrible! <laughs> Personally, I thought pink made you very pretty. Really? Sure, pretty stupid. <laughs> Yikes. What is that yellow thing? Some kind of mold? I'm not mold, I'm a sponge. There's a cellular difference. A cellular difference! <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky. By the seven seas, Prawn, I shall not rest until you are captured. But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man. You don't have a secret identity, you old coot. Maybe you better take care of Prawn while I take care of this. I shall avenge you, Mermaid Man! So Prawn is an original character made for this game. He would make came a cameo in Truth or Square, as well as make a comeback in Cosmic Shake, where he was extremely annoying and he wasn't even a boss in that game. Smells like victory. Couldn't even fight him. He also made a cameo in a Spongebob Villains episode, which is really cool. But since um, each of your moves is tailored to beat a certain boss, uh, the Bubble Bowl is needed to beat Prawn here. You just gotta bolt across these uh, clear tiles and damage him, nice and simple. Here, I found this in my sock drawer. 
next to a bunch of pink socks. It's another golden spatula. <laughs> Thank you, Mermaid Man. I shall always live my life by your shiny example. Let goodness and kindness... Are you still here? And then Prawn just disappears. What's that sound anyway? Well, yeah, it's a very small level, relatively. Just four socks. Just four. So, th this is the first level we 100%ed. So, dun 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 Four whole socks there, though. So, let's get out of here, then. Now I'd like to get a sand mountain. Sea creatures go to enjoy an afternoon of falling down. <laughs> so, uh. Wed word, am I glad you're here. I need to borrow your toothbrush again. What? You've used it before? Oh, yeah, lots of times. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Fine. What do I care? I'm a wreck, anyways. I try and get some exercise to relax from all this rope. Because of a toothbrush? No, it's those blasted robots. They've taken over the ski slopes. How can I ski with those ugly things beating everyone up? Listen, SpongeBob, you've got to help me. I'm going to lose my marbles if I don't get some relaxation. I found if you keep your marbles in a bag, they don't get lost as often. In fact, I've got mine right here. It's embroidered with this lovely... Forget the marbles! I've got a better idea. If you get rid of the robots at the bottom of every slope for me, I'll give you one of those golden spatulas. Well, I don't know. It's hard to beat the extreme fun of Marvel. Okay, okay, I'll give you one for each slope you clear. Okay. Now that's a deal. <laughs> that's, that's bargaining conquer style. So yeah, it's playing the hub world music. Uh, oh, an extremely easy, uh, sock, and it just makes those robots explode, too, I guess. Boy, heaven will be glad to have this back. <sighs> There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like... <laughs> Fresh, like a spring breeze. Because... Hi, Gary. <laughs> Obviously, Spongebob doesn't get Gary's mission. <laughs> well, I didn't mean to go in here yet, but who cares? We can do these in any order. So, this is like a mini-hub for all the sections of this level. And I guess we're starting with, uh, it's like, the this is Act 4, because the hub section is Act 1, really. Is unbeatable. I'll give you a golden <laughs> spatula if you can beat my time. And this is basically the, uh, the sliding. Th this world is all about the, uh, the sliding. Wow, opening presents. Out! I feel like a new sponge. 
Each act will have a sliding challenge. I, th I think each one is different. They're not like all time trials. Oh boy, you know, get the socket, the socket. I'm really not gonna stress about getting all the uh, the shinies up here. Oh, there's something for Sandy. Oh, 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 oh wow, I completely missed that switch. I am amazing. Oh my god, did I miss that switch. Well, you gotta come back down here, Sandy, anyway. We'll recollect all this stuff. So many complex routes, so many shinies we won't collect. And I'm dead. So well, we can get that sock again now, eh? I'm not fat. Okay, okay, so Sandy gets the sock, but that's this is for something else. <laughs> Do I seriously not collect that? Okay, good. I love how, uh, how much faster I go than these shinies can chase. Oh, 50! Well, I died for that 50. And I don't even think I collected it. It sucks. I'm up. I don't see how how I'm actually breaking those um disappearing boxes. That's weird. Like I'm like I'm still pushing up on a stick, why are they not disappearing? I'll get you 50! <laughs> you wanna come back with Sandy? was really stupid of me.
I'm not fit. I love opening presents. Yeah, a massively good shortcut here. Here's a Squidward's objective. These kill rooms. Sorry to skip your dialogue there. Oh, now he has to go down here again as Sandy, of course. Hey, Larry. What's happening, SpongeBob? <laughs> That's a weird jump sound. <laughs> no, I'm determined to get all these things that I missed. <laughs> well, how flexible Sandy's gliding is mid sledding. Curious to read those billboards too. See if those shinies will chase me all the way down here. That'll be hilarious. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. There they are. No, now I know which direction they're from. I think. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, and there's another easy slot right down there. Well, I suppose it'll make Patrick happy. Way up there. Be a little refreshed. Yeah, it's called uh, jumping off these uh, plants here. <laughs> I guarantee you that wasn't the intended way to do this. But this, pl this platforming is the best. <laughs> oh, look, a 50. Someone better make good use of all of these. Yeah, who needs the rest of those when I can do that, huh? <laughs> and there's obviously a bungee challenge there. Let's go into the real Act 2. The Duffy Mound. It's so like, so like, Act 4 was the, the full sand mountain, so that's pretty cool. Howdy, Mrs. Puff. Well, if it isn't Sandy Cheeks. <laughs> nice. Obviously, you're not supposed to talk to her, Sandy. Good riddance! I've gone down this hill a hundred times, usually rolling. Darn... Okay, so... It is another time trial, alright. I love opening presents. Oh, there's something for Sandy, of course. No sock. And there's so many of these freaking things hovering about the bombs. It's, oh, that's so mean. Oh no, quit doing this. Oh, there's a 50. Oh, there's. Oh my god, this is so mean. <laughs> Better to get those with Sandy, definitely. I've got. One, but it sure is a hectic one, that's for true. I feel like a new sponge. And I thought like the mini boss music was supposed to play in these sections, but it's not.
It's also weird how some of these spatulas aren't even inside their bubbles. Just for a 50. <laughs> yep, the game really knows how to hide these 50s. Might as, might as well collect all the other points that are along this track. That is a good way to get rid of these uh, TNTs easier. Just uh, rip them while you're gliding like this. Alright. 